I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a western, old western town. I take one finger on the left and I put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line over left to right. I come back to the left, put one finger, put a dot and now I'm going to draw another straight line all the way across. Now what we're going to do first on this is draw a series of rectangles and squares so starting over here on the left, I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect. I come right above and I draw another straight line on the left, straight line on the right, straight line across, connect. I come inside right here in the center. Let's put this dot right on the center and I draw a straight diagonal down on the left and a straight diagonal down on the right. I come right next to that and I'm going to draw straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect. I come right in the center and put a dot up on top and I draw straight diagonal out, little straight line in, connect, come back to the dot, straight diagonal out, little straight line in connect. I'm going to hook a straight line on the left and a straight line on the right right on top. Straight line across put a little dot on top. Straight diagonal out on the left. Straight diagonal out on the right. I come right next to it and I'm going to draw a straight line down. Straight line over straight line down, connect. I'm going to come in a little bit and draw one straight line, straight line over, one straight line, connect, and I'm going to put another one right on top. Straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect. I come to the middle one and I draw a straight diagonal out, straight line in, straight diagonal out, straight line in, connect. Come up on top, do it again, straight diagonal, straight line, straight line, straight diagonal, and right on top I put one, two straight lines, curve line in the middle, little curve line, straight line down on the right, little curve line, straight line down on the left. Okay, now I come over here and I am going to draw a straight line down straight line over, straight line down, connect, straight diagonal out, little line in, straight line across, straight diagonal down, little line in, connect. Right on top I draw another straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I come up on top I draw a straight diagonal out, straight diagonal out on the right, straight line, connect. Last one, if you can fit it in, skinny mini, straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect, little skinny, straight line, straight line, straight line, rectangle, straight diagonal out on the left, straight diagonal out on the right, straight line across, connect. So those are your basic structures. Now we're going to add the detail. Come back to the first one. First thing we're going to do is draw a circle inside that top triangle. Now we're going to add a star. Straight line up, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, connect. And we're going to add straight diagonal up. We're mimicking those lines. Straight diagonal down, connect. Inside this next skinny rectangle, we're going to draw another skinny rectangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And inside, we're going to write the word sheriff. 
Okay, so that designates this building. I come right in the center, <clears throat> excuse me, and I draw a straight line down, straight line down in the center, and I'm going to draw straight diagonal on the left, straight diagonal on the right, skinny rectangle, straight line in the middle. Jump over, straight diagonal on the left, straight diagonal on the right, skinny rectangle in the middle, straight line. Okay? Right here, I draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect, and I'm going to add one, two, three straight diagonal lines. If you have room, come on the left, right, I draw a straight line on the right, and we're just going to draw a straight line across. Okay? Now come over to your next building, and we are going to start at the top, inside, put a dot. We draw a straight diagonal on the left, straight diagonal on the right. Bring it all the way down on the left, all the way down on the right. Come inside and draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Okay. Come all the way up to the top and draw me a straight line, straight line. Okay. Come over to the next one. We're just going to add some squares on the left and a square on the right. A square on the left and a square on the right. And we're going to write the word hotel. That's for this building. Now we come in the center and draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, right next to it, straight line up, curve line down, straight line, next to that on the left, straight line up, curve line, straight line down. Midpoint, just draw a little straight line on the left, little straight line on the right, come inside and draw a curve line, curve line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect on the right, curve line, curve line, straight line, straight line, straight line on the left, just draw a straight line across in the center, straight line down, straight line down if you have room. Now come up and just draw a straight line across in little straight lines inside. Okay? Next, come over to this one and we're going to draw a curved line. Then we're going to draw one, two, three, four, five straight lines and we're going to put some dots right above it. Okay? Inside we put one triangle, two triangles, three triangles, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And inside this space, we're going to write saloon. Okay? We come down, and on the left-hand side, we draw a triangle and a straight line. Right side, draw a triangle, straight line. Inside the center, let's draw a rectangle, straight line, straight line. We're going to draw a straight line across, straight line across, straight line in the middle, little straight lines on either side. If you have room, straight line, curve line on the right, straight line, curve line on the left. Okay? Now, this last building, skinny mini, curve line, straight line going down, one, two straight lines on the left, one, two straight lines on the right. If you have room, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. And this is the bank. Okay? Now, my western town I put in the southwest, so I'm going to draw my sun. And it's radiating because it's hot there. I'm going to draw some skinny, skinny clouds. Skinny mini. Okay, maybe one over here if you have room. Only if you have room. 
Now, behind my buildings, I'm going to put curve line, jump over, curve line down, keep going, curve line, curve line, and off the page. And if you have room, you might want to put some cactus, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, straight line, curve line, curve line, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, straight line, straight lines, and maybe some overlapping bushes. Okay? I think that's all. We'll see. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is a lot to color in. So I'm going to give you some guidelines, but you can pretty much do whatever you want. I'm going to just make my cacti, cacti more than one cactus. I'm going to make those light green. I'm going to do some landscaping with my bushes. I'll make those dark green. I'm going to do my background color. You notice I'm doing the big parts first. I'm going to do my background color blue-green all the way across. And then, because like I said, this is the Southwest, so I'm thinking Arizona, New Mexico, those areas. I'm going to use a red-violet for this part of my hill in between my buildings okay this section and this section and this section because the first layer of color down here in the bottom I kinda want it's those southwest pinky beiges this is brown and then the bottom bottom color I did red now here's the thing about western towns a lot of them are basically brown and gray, but that's too boring. So what I did, because I am an artist, is I went through and if there was a window or a door, I put yellow, just to add a pop of color. So every time I see a window, I'm going to add a pop of color, which is yellow, all the way across. Do your windows, do your sun, do your windows, do your windows again. Now, because I didn't want to totally, oops, and I forgot a cross on my church. Right about here, I should have put a line and a little cross inside. Now, for the sheriff, I did orange, again, to try and do those colors again and I did brown because you know the sheriff's is kind of serious and this is when you pull all the colors out of your crayon box and use them all up you will do a way better job than me I'm just getting a little color down so you can see what I'm talking about now the church I just went and I outlined Wherever I saw a black line, I didn't color it in. If you want to color yours in, you can. But I just wanted a, a little bit of color on that. So I used my blue. My hotel, I used an apricot or pinky brown color on my hotel all the way across. And I added some pink on this one. Again, I was trying to go for those southwest colors. My saloon, I did gray. And I added some purple. You know, you don't want to do it too dark so you lose all your writing and all your detail. And I think I did a little bit of brown. And then on my bank, I did it pretty much brown. But you can do any colors you want because the town is up to you. These are the ones I chose. And you'll see mine looks a lot better on my finished one. 
So yeah, let's see what that looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my old western town all colored in. Ready for cowboys and who knows who else is in town. Okay, bye-bye.